Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Keep tabs on the breath all the time. As for any other thoughts that come into the mind, just let them go. You're trying to develop something solid inside, an awareness that you can trust. That you can tell your mind to do what you want it to do, and it'll do it. If the mind is not under your control, what is under your control? Even at this much you can't control, there's not, it's hard to control anything outside. So make sure you've got this where you want it to be. In other words, the mind is focused on something good, something solid. You have to protect the mind. We've been talking about protection throughout the Rains Retreat. The Buddha gave a list one time of ten different things by which you protect yourself, and one of them is by having admirable friends, both inside and out. Admirable friends outside are people who have conviction in the Buddha's awakening, they're generous, they're virtuous, they follow the precepts, and they're wise. And you try to develop their qualities as well. Whatever good qualities they have, you try to emulate them, so you have a friend inside. Because you have all kinds of voices inside the mind telling you to do this, telling you to do that, and you have to be able to sort out which ones you can trust and which ones you can't. So it's good to have somebody outside who can set a good example for you and can look at your own behavior and tell you when you're going off. Because many times our own delusion is something we can't see, by definition. We don't know when we're deluded. We think we're right, but someone who knows may look at us and see exactly where we're wrong. So we have to be willing to listen to the people outside who are good, who are reliable. When the Buddha talked to the Galamas, and he said, you go by your, what you see is right, but not only by that, but also listen to the wise. What do they have to say? You can't just go by your own lights. You have to have something outside to give you a frame of reference. So try to choose good people outside. And we tend to be like the people that we hang around with, so choose people that are convinced in the power of your actions, that your actions really do make a difference, because that's the message of the Buddha's awakening. As a result, they're virtuous, they don't break the precepts, they're, they're generous, and they're wise about how to overcome the suffering in their own minds, and they're able to give you good advice on how to overcome the suffering in yours. Those are the kinds of people you want to spend time with, especially nowadays as we're spending so much time on the Internet. You don't know who you're spending time with. Some can look good on the Internet, but when you actually see their personal life, their, their life is a mess. So you want to look at people in terms of how they live their lives. And choose people who you can trust, people that you admire, so you can, yourself can become an admirable person. And as you listen to their voices as they point out your, your, your faults, regard that as a treasure. You've learned something that would be hard to learn otherwise. And then you try to internalize their qualities so that you've got a good voice inside that can tell you when you're beginning to go off track. This way we learn how to protect ourselves, by looking for those outside who are a good protection for themselves. Because when it comes down to it, you're, you're the only one who's making the decisions as to what to do and say and think. So you want to make sure you make those decisions wisely. And, you can't, and if you know that you've also got greed, aversion, and delusion in the mind, you've got to find somebody to, outside so you can test your ideas and test your actions to make sure that you're really up to a reliable standard. So that when you have voices in the mind, you begin to know which ones are reliable and which ones are not, which ones are the voice of the Dharma, which ones are the voice of your defilements. Because defilements can sound like the Dharma when they want to. You have to watch out for those. So find somebody good you can trust. This is one way in which you create a protection for yourself. Not that that person is going around and protect you, but you learn from them how they protect themselves from their own defilements. And that way you come out as a safe person as well.